Hey Aries, apologies, big huge apologies. I'm so sorry for being late with your reading. This was supposed to be for mid-August to end of August, but now that we're on the last few days of August, we're gonna push this from end of August uh, to like the second week of September. So let's just call it a August-September reading, okay? So here it is, Love Life reading for singles and couples. Um, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all your support. So many of you that have purchased readings for me, that have sent me donations. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything, everything, every down to every last email you send me. Thank you so much. So let's get started for Aries Singles. And singles, it's straight up single. Like we got to figure out what's blocking you. Why are you still single, right? So this is for... <clears throat> end of August to mid-September for single Aries, okay? So what do we have going on? Codependency, hmm, maybe that's why you're straight up single. And chemistry. So some of you have chemistry. I'm gonna take one more card. Some of you have chemistry with quite a few different people. Uh, Aries, I don't feel as though you can't get someone to be interested in you or vice versa like I don't I don't feel like you aren't necessarily not interested in anyone the chemistry is there you may have a lot of admirers however I feel as though there's a little bit of uh, an unapproachable air of unapproachable <laughs> uh, that you've been kind of sending out I don't know if you realize it, Aries. I feel as though you do have some admirers, but they might find you intimidating, which, you know, I tend to have that problem as well. And so when that happens, I always feel like, hey, you know what? If you can't handle, if you can't handle me, then you're probably not the right one for me. <laughs> so very soon is your third card. That's just my personal opinion. I should not be intimidating anyone. I'm a big dork. Anyway, so here we go. Straight up single Aries. What do you have going on? Why are you blocked? Well, you're straight up single because there's codependency issues here. I'm not sure if you've acknowledged that there's codependency issues here. Now, codependency issues can be an attachment. And it's, 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 for some of you, I feel as though there are toxic friendships or relationships that you just can't seem to break free from. For some, it might be mother issues, mommy, mommy issues. Could be your mama's boy or you have mommy issues where you can't seem to heal from the absence of your mother, the absence of a relationship or a bond with your mother or a mother figure in your life. Maybe you didn't have one for some of you. And some of you may be looking for that mother figure in the people that you've kind of turned away. I feel as though you, that's part of your criteria when you meet someone, you know. On the other hand, for some of you, it's like, oh God, this person reminds me of my mom. Get the hell away from me. I cannot handle, I cannot deal. Um, at the same time, you're blocking yourself. So really get down to the bottom of the codependency issues. I also feel as though some of you have a codependent mother. You can't move on with your life. And, and I hate to say this, but some of you feel very burdened by the responsibility of having to take care of your mother, right? So you feel as though your life path can go one of two ways. You continue to take care of your mom and you stay straight up single right? Straight up single. Just looking at your pentacles here. But some of you want to look for that husband, that wife. They, yeah, see, look, with the Hierophant, you may be looking at a Taurus. You may be interested in an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with that sense of practicality and stability. I feel as though some of you, that is what you're looking for. However, if you're having a hard time dating 
and maybe meeting people because you have a codependent parent. For most, it's a mother figure. You're looking at your life in two ways. I'm single because I've got my mom and I can't date anyone because how do I explain to them I still live with my mom? How do I explain to them I take care of my mom? My mom is my first responsibility. And so you find yourself single with this big, huge burden. I don't see children here, so I feel as though some of you have a parent that you're taking care of. It's not only like a burden you're feeling in the household. For some of you, you have a very overbearing parent. I'm going to continue saying mother. However, apply it to your situation if it is a father figure. Uh, only because the empress is here. Okay, I just got another message. But let me finish with the first one. <laughs> so I feel as though you may have an overbearing mother. It's almost as though they're always on you about being single. However, you feel as though you can't even date anyone because you're having to take care of their every need. And you, you feel, I don't know if you do, some of you might because I see a lot of wands here, which means like passionate energy. You may get defensive, you know, saying, well, how the hell do you expect me to do this and that when I'm always here with you? You know, maybe you don't mean to be mean or to take it out on them but there is a codependency here now the other message that i was receiving is i feel as though there is a single aries here now remember general reading this can go vice versa who is expecting a child there is they're about to be a single parent if it's a male you are no longer with this person you broke up with. They're pregnant. They have not had a child yet. You broke up during the pregnancy because you felt like this was a ploy to keep you around. And for some of you, well, I'm just going to say it, Aries, you're a player. You got a lot of, you got a lot of suitors here, right? You want to keep doing your thing and you don't want to be bogged down with, you know, wife and kid, pregnancy, you're trying to look forward. Okay, that flew out. You're trying to look forward to having a stable home environment, but I see so many wands here, so it really makes me feel as though it is you who's feeling imbalanced and all over the place. It's like in the back of your mind and maybe part of your goals is you want to come together with someone. You want this practical energy, practical relationship, husband, wife. You, you know, you, in, in ideally you would want something more traditional. But I feel as though you haven't been in anything serious for quite some time, which is why you're still single. And part of the reason is that you're just so used to coming and going and doing as you please. And so if you've been like a bachelor, if you've been single for a long time, men or women, and then suddenly you've been given the task of taking care of your mother, suddenly your ex-girlfriend that you hooked up with randomly one time comes, comes back and says, hey, I'm pregnant. You're like, that was three months ago. Yeah, well, I'm three months pregnant, right? However it works. I feel as though part of the reason why you're single is for that reason. You can't seem to just lay down your roots. You want to. It gets a little scary for you. Then you get defensive and you start pushing people away. Some of you may have some very harsh anger problems. As though any little comment might affect you taken the wrong way. You have no problem connecting with people. You have the chemistry here. You're attractive. People are attracted to you. Personality, physically, whatever it may be. You have no problem getting suitors. I mean, look at all these people here, right? 
but if you find that you are finally tired of being single, well, the very soon card is saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You can't expect to be this knight of wands coming and going, having their fair share of, you know, partners of dating, whatever it may be. And then wondering, why am I still single? Well, you're still single because you're still entertaining the single lifestyle. When you start showing that you want more than this, you know, single lifestyle, serial dater, player for some of you who've got a lot of girlfriends or boyfriends, right? That's a lot of cards, but I'm going to show them to you and they did come up in reverse. Justice, High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Some of you had a very hard time moving forward, which is why you're still single. I feel as though someone got caught cheating, lying, getting involved with more than one partner. Some of you may have cheated on your spouses. Some of you whose partner or spouse may have gotten a private investigator to keep an eye on you, keep tabs on you. Because you were lying. You were being deceptive. You were holding back your true self. You were just going with it, thinking you were going to continue to get away with it. So the codependency here, I feel that for some of you, you have codependent relationships. Some of you have a problem with codependency when it comes to lying. Now, people lie, this is my view, my personal belief, some people lie because, well, they're not confident in their views or in their ways or what they do. They're not confident in the other person's reaction or acceptance. Sometimes people lie because they're afraid of how the other person will react. So they get around not speaking the truth by saying just enough to keep going. And then there are some of you who have a codependency with alcohol, who you've been keeping a secret from someone, your family, your children, now the page of swords came in reverse so perhaps you got caught perhaps you got caught with your drinking problem people didn't realize how bad it was you weren't making it you you became so good at hiding this so good but some of you got caught some of you just had an intervention Look at all these people. Mother with the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Hierophant. Yeah. Codependency issues. Yeah. Some of you may be in rehab. Or your family or your people that are close to you are, push, are pushing you towards that. They want to come together and make it known. Hey, you need help. You've lied to us about just how bad this drinking problem is. But you need help. I feel I'm getting so many messages for this codependency card. So again, some of you Aries have a codependency issue in terms of relationships. Mothers, mother figures. Some of you it's drinking problems. Some of you have a problem with lying and fighting and arguing it's like you like the drama or aries before you get mad at me for saying that there is someone in your life that you have this codependent tie to that loves the drama that has the drinking problem that has mommy issues that probably needs to, an intervention that probably needs to get some professional help You or them are not strong enough to pursue this on their own. That is the Ten of Wands burden 
heaviness so heavy it makes you or them feel as though they can no longer move forward you may have a friend Aries with these issues that you've been helping and you've put so much focus and effort on helping them that you've forgotten to take care of yourself a lot of Aries energy is here I feel as though I'm reading for a lot of you because I'm getting so many different messages. So if you notice that I'm pausing a lot, it's because I'm getting a lot of different messages. So now let's move on to chemistry. Because again, like I said, you have no problem attracting a partner, a mate, a fun time, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, partner, whatever it may be. The chemistry is there. And as long as you have codependency issues attached to you, codependency relationships attached, relationships or friendships or business relations, right? You need to clearly decide what it is you want and how you're going to move forward because the chemistry is there. You got someone. Let's see. Who is this chemistry card about? Who is this chemistry? Clarify the chemistry card for the straight up single Aries. Okay, someone over the internet who suddenly just stopped communicating. Maybe you got in a fight with someone. There was a strong chemistry. A water sign, Queen of Cups. Or maybe you're very emotional over the fact that the communication stopped. You guys got into a big fight. And again, if this is the person that's been drinking or it is you with the drinking problem, your imbalance perhaps shooed this person away. While the chemistry, the attraction, it's there. They're afraid to move forward. And now between the two of you, one or both of you, feel as though you've had a missed opportunity. Like how in the world could I have let this opportunity go? So how do you get that opportunity back? Well, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Because it's time to put an end to the bullshit. It really is. If you're fighting, if you're drinking, you know, whatever this inner turmoil is, you've got to let it go. You don't want to be, you know, in the dating scene anymore. You don't want to be playing around. You don't want to be dating a bunch of other people because everyone is casual while you're waiting for the real person to come in, right? But you keep seeing the same casual people. How are you allowing your actual partner, your future partner to come in? And so that needs to come to an end so that the love offers can come in or so that you can be in a much more positive and stable, you know, um, in a much more positive and stable position in order to offer your cup of love. <laughs> in order to offer your cup of love. See, Aries, you might be having fun playing the field, having your partners, partners, right? But you know that you just want one. You know that there is only one for you that you want. And in order for you to have that happen, you've got to put an end to the bullshit you've entertained for quite some time. Having, look at that, come on now. Having the, very soon, let me show you, right? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, right? So what happens when you realize that everything you've been doing up until now is what's been blocking you from this partner? this love of your life, this soulmate, whatever it is that you're looking for, what happens when you put an end to that lifestyle that hasn't been working out for you? Well, come on now. You or someone else comes in to offer you this cup of love. I mean, come on. You can't get any better than that, right? Someone comes in to make an offer and boy, is it a big freaking offer. Or maybe... There was somebody that you've just been dying to just drop all these casual relationships for to move forward. You feel as though with this person, there is emotional and financial stability. But you've been entertaining something 
not so casual for too long. And when you continue to entertain that, well, your world crumbles. And then what happens? Then you cry over spilled milk because you feel as though, wow, I knew what I needed to do, but I fucked it up, right? Because I didn't let go of the casual relationships. I didn't let it go. I didn't do it. I continued fucking around with the wrong people, knowing that it wasn't going to go anywhere. I continued to date casually. I continued to whatever it is that you're doing. No judgment here. But don't, don't complain to the universe. Why am I still single? Why haven't I found my partner? Where is my soulmate? Why don't I have a boyfriend? Are you dating people or hanging out with people? entertaining people because they're there and it keeps you from being lonely I mean as long as you're putting in time and effort into something you know isn't going to pan out then how do you how are you allowing for this person that you want to come in so single Aries let's see straight up single Aries focus on love look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life and honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So, again, you like these people, you've been hanging out with them, you've been casually dating. Perhaps they're hoping for this to go something a little further. You know that it's not going to be anything serious. You know that it's not going to be anything further. Some of you may be dating people, have been dating people for quite some time. And that other person is thinking, wow, we've been seeing each other for like six months. And those six months are like whatever to you, right? Because you're not seeing it the way they are. Honor them and honor yourself. If you know that this is just going to end up being friendship, don't lead them on. Let them go find their partner so that you can find your partner. If this is something that you want to pursue and see where it goes down the line, well, then talk to them. Clearly decide what it is that you want, right? Be honest with them. Focus on love. Is this someone who that you can honestly see a future with? You can see yourself building a future together, growing together, whatever, it, whatever life plans that you may have. And then go from there. Okay, Aries, single Aries, that was your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in in case some of you are leaving right now because I'm moving on to the couples. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos if this resonated with you. Thank you so much. And then I'm going to get started with, whoops, I'm going to get started with Aries couples. Okay, so here we go for Aries couples, couples seriously dating, and some of you in-betweeners, like you just broke up and you're still trying to get back together. I guess the singles one can apply to you as well. So let's see, especially with that codependency card. Okay, so married and couples, Aries, four. End of August through mid-September. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And as I said, some of you that just broke up with someone may want to watch the singles reading at the beginning because that codependency card came in and we got release your ex. The time has to come to clear your energy. So what I'm getting here is that there are a few Aries here, which all of these cards apply. Because how I'm feeling it is, some of you may have detached just a bit, maybe started entertaining you know, some sexy time, flirting, texting, sexting, messages, hanging out, maybe an innocent, innocent, air quotes, lunch here and there, lunch, dinner, meet up with the ex, 
that you've started feeling nostalgic. You've started realizing that maybe you missed that relationship you had with an ex. However, I do feel as though it's temporary. And the time will come when you realize when you realize this third party situation isn't going to work for either of you, right? The time will come that you know it's time to release the energies of the ex. If it means stop talking to them, look at that. Mm -hmm. Again, with the third party situation, three of cups. So the connection is there with the ex. The contact is there. Whether or not you're sleeping with them, that's on you. But the thought is there about whether or not you want to go back to that person, whether or not you want to cheat on the person you're currently with, with your ex. And so at the end of the day, you need to give your relationship a chance because I feel that very soon something will happen for you to realize why it did not work out with the ex. And then you're going to say to yourself, why in the world did I entertain that when I have something much better here? When I need to make the effort and give this relationship a chance, this current relationship, this current partnership, so that we can come together with the Four of Wands. Right? You've really, this thing with the ex, it's been lingering for quite some time. They, the thing is, is the ex, they know you so well, right? They know the ins and outs of your brain, your heart. They know what you like. They know how to maneuver their way in and out of your life. But I'm telling you that the minute that they realize they're getting closer and closer to having you all to themselves, they start to get distant and start to do the things that you didn't like when you were together. And you realize, wait a minute, We're going to go back to that again. We were getting along so good right now. We're going back to that again. Okay, may maybe I need to give this another chance over here. Maybe I need to ha have these second thoughts about this ex. And I have to give my current relationship a chance. And that, especially with Mars Direct, that fiery energy, you get really pissed off about this shit. So much so that you just want to drop them. And you know you need to. You know you need to. And you're like, why am I messing around with this fuck boy? Why am, I, why am I messing around with this, you know, whatever you want to call her? <laughs> I'm in a good place right now and I'm taking it for granted. You really start to realize what you had been doing as you were giving all this time and energy to your ex. And believe me, even if it was only texting, you were still giving time and energy to the ex because they occupied your mind and for a while they occupied your heart. They were flirting with you, you were loving the attention, going along with it, started realizing how much you missed this connection. Well, honey, they know you so well, right? They know what they need to say to bring you right back in, hook, line, and sinker. And it's almost as though they reel you in. And just as you're getting close to them, they drop it. They go back to what they were doing. And it's like, well, we're not together. You got a girlfriend. You got a boyfriend. What the hell do you care? Go do your own thing. And then, it, then, then, you, then it's like a slap in your face. You remember. And you're like, uh-uh. You know what? I, I've put too much time and energy to this. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm getting over that past heartache, that past relationship. I've got to drop those three swords. And remember, I've got four wands that bring me back together with my partner. That is the realization you will make at the end of August, beginning of September. And so the universe says, okay, we tested you with bringing you this X, perhaps this King of Cups X, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've tested you. We brought you this great relationship, but then we sent you an ex to see how you were doing. How you handle this 
is how you move forward with them. Do you move forward with your current partner? Or does the universe push you either towards or away this person? But that's a karmic cycle. And if this ex keeps coming back in, you've got to cut those karmic ties. Look at that. It is, it is a very strong emotional attachment that you have to one another. That's why you get reeled back in so easily. I get the sense that you thought this was probably going to be your life partner and it didn't work out. And so you, the back of your mind, you still kind of hope that it still works out. So make the effort. Clarify the make the effort card. Okay, see, you're entertaining these toxic behaviors, toxic attachments. Make the effort. If you are not having sexy time with your current partner because you're entertaining the ex, for those of you that are cheating, I'm not saying you're all cheating, but I do feel as though some of you have given more of this intimacy that your current partner so desires, it's been going to the ex because they know what you like. They know how to play you. They know how to do whatever it is that you like. But does your current partner know what you like, how you want to go about things, what you prefer? And if they don't, how do they expect, how do you expect them to know? How do you expect them to maybe satisfy you the way the ex was. Now remember, this is a general reading, so it does not apply to everyone. Apply what does, leave what doesn't. Don't turn around and say, I am not cheating, or he is not cheating, or whatever, right? It doesn't apply to everyone. But make the effort if you're not having sex in your current relationship. If you're feeling, for some of you, there's a sex addiction here. We have a cheater because they've got a sex addiction or your ex was a sex addict and they know how to manipulate. They know how to bring you back in. But all that will do is bring you heartache, backstab and betrayed and leaving you out to dry, leaving you single, wondering what the hell happened once all these things are revealed. So what's blocking your relationship? The ex. For those of you that are dating and are still married. Yep. You're keeping tabs on that ex. Or for those in a current marriage, someone is keeping tabs on the other. They want to know what the hell is going on. They want that juggling that juggling to stop they've caught on to your behavior or you've caught on to their behavior because this can go vice versa they're trying to figure out how to best act how to best handle this they've really really look at these cards it's about going within do i say something do i test the waters how do i find my balance here look at that trying to find your balance that energy from the ex is what's bringing imbalance to your relationship. Because if you feel imbalanced or they feel imbalanced and you bring that in, that is what's blocking you. So Aries, King of Wands, if that is you, King of Wands to me is a very action-oriented king. He figures out the solutions, the action plans. How do I move forward? What do I do from here on out? Listen, you know, Aries have no problem taking control, looking towards what to do next, right? Let's clarify this, release the X, because I am not liking this at all. Why does Aries have to release the X? Yeah, it's bringing a burden to your marriage, your partnership, your relationship. Oh, wow. The Ace of Swords that flew out. 
three of swords, six of swords, and seven of pentacles. So why do you need to release your ex? Well, the truth is about to be revealed and someone's heart is about to be crushed, broken, damaged. Sheer disappointment, sadness, depression. Where you or the other partner is just going to say, you know what? I've had it. I'm leaving. I don't want to be in this relationship. Too many swords here. A lot of arguing. A lot of mental fatigue and drainage it's all too much to bear with it's it's too much to bear for you right for you knowing that you did something horribly wrong or that is this happened to you your partner did this to you and so then you look back and you say look at all this work we put into it and for what everything that I did for them all this effort and time I put into them and it didn't pay out at all. But Aries, I'm going to tell you, don't be so pessimistic. There is a lesson to learn here. Although things may not have worked out the way you wanted them to. Once you learn whatever this lesson is, you will be able to move forward, whether your current or next relationship. And know what to do so that these mistakes don't get repeated. So that this pain doesn't get repeated. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's to learn and put these karmic cycles to bed. And so we're going to close this out with this love oracle. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So was this going on under your nose and you had some clue, some idea, right? that it was going on and perhaps you didn't want to deal with it. Perhaps you thought ignorance is bliss. They can't possibly be doing this to me again. Again, yes, the word again came out because for some of you, you know that your ex or your current partner may have done this to you in the past and you thought those days were over. And if this isn't going on in your relationship, then honey, it is not for you. Try my September reading. I'm about to put that out soon. So I'm going to pull a heal yourself card. How can Aries heal from this situation? What do they need to know? How can they unblock themselves to move forward? Okay, two cards flew out. Okay. I know quite a few Aries that have problems with these two things, right? Pride and patience. Your ego can sometimes take over. You have a really hard time admitting when you're at fault with something. Your pride won't allow it. Then you grow impatient And rather than taking the time to knock that ego off its pedestal and to be more patient and understanding to your partner, to the situation, your ego gets in the way and it turns into a big, huge fight. Or you're dealing with someone who's got a huge inflated ego where you know that they won't admit that they've done wrong. Have patience healing from this. Have patience with that other person. Ask for patience from that other person if that's what you need. But Aries, take some time to really, really take a look at how prideful you've been. If you know that something was going on in your relationship and you were afraid to admit it, that perhaps this person lost interest, that perhaps this person may be messing around with someone else. Your pride wouldn't allow you to go that way. You were in denial. You were afraid to confront it. 
let go of your pride. Be patient with yourself. Be loving and understanding. Heal from this and consider your foundation here. Give your relationship a chance. Make the effort and release your ex. Those are your true messages here. Never, let's, let's get rid of all these tarot cards, right? These are just clarifiers. These are the cards that just tell me a story as to why we're here. Give your relationship a chance. Make the effort and release your ex. Come on, Aries, couples, dating, serious relationships. You know what's going on here. Even if all those clarifiers didn't apply to you, I know these apply to you. Consider your foundation, pride, and patience. And for a few of you, maybe none of this applies to you. I'm sorry, try back my September readings that are coming to you within the next week. But those are your final messages. Aries, couples, dating, in-betweeners, perhaps just freshly out of a relationship. These are your messages for last week of August, first couple weeks of September. Your September readings are coming this weekend, within the next week or so. And I've got general and love readings. Have a great weekend, a great week for those of you celebrating Labor Day in the U.S. And yeah, let me know if you'd like a personal reading. My information is in the description box below. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, Aries. Bye.